The Monerotopia Weekly News segment is sponsored by WizardSwap.io, a non-custodial cryptocurrency exchange. Tony! Tony, what's up, man? Happy weekend. Good, and you guys? Good, good, good. Chilling. Living life on the front lines of Monero. (laughs) (laughs) How you doing? We haven't had you on in a while. You've been off the radar a little bit. Yeah, I know. It's just like... um... Like moving, like all kinds of stuff. Yeah, but okay, good, good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, right. good, stuff good, 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 good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, happy to have you back on. Uh, fantastic to have you. We got uh, 127 live views right now, guys. Keep liking and sharing. Let's let's get the word out. Totally accurate. <laughs> totally. I don't know. I think maybe they re-altered it now. I don't know because I'm, well, I'm looking on on just Twitter. We have or X. We have 92. So yeah, I guess those are right. Those aren't cool. ninety-two people that are actually in the room. We think those are just people that have watched it at some point today. Yeah, most likely. Come on, Tux. We could Kill we could just over. pretend. <laughs> yeah, let's pretend. Ninety-two, ninety-two. Like, <laughs> like I said, when you when you see versus. So right now, compared to all the other spaces that I have in my X, when I open it up, we we have the most by uh, by. Oh no, I see somebody with a hundred actually. Oh wow, we have four uh, people on Twitter. Wait, yeah, Twitter. No, Twitter showing me ninety. Oh wow, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. good. No, but we're, yeah, 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 it's good. But you know, well, Twitter's doing good. I was actually thinking the one time when Monero was getting um, attacked, and then we had the most amount of views on YouTube. Probably like, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's also I think really... coincided with when X changed their their algorithm. So we were like, we have thousands of people. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. All um, right, Tony. But yeah, take take it away. Let's uh, let's do the news. I know there's, a, there's always a lot to discuss, and then we'll yes. get viewers on stage. We'll get people up. Yep, we do have quite a little bit. So, um, all right, first things off, we're going to talk about the at t incident. So essentially, hackers stole call and text records for nearly all at t customers, um, which is really, really bad. And then... Um, the FBI wanted to push it off for a little while, and I, I guess the Biden administration um, and not immediately tell people what happened. Um, why? I don't know. Maybe they, because they wanted to spy a little bit more before they made it public. That's not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty bad. So, um, and obviously not just at t customers have been affected. at t customers can text you know, come, you know, whatever other customers. So basically a lot of Americans got their text leak, calls leaks and everything. So this one was a pretty bad one, to be honest, really, really bad. To be correct. I believe it was just the metadata. So like who you texted and who you called, but still, still not great. Right. Still, but regardless of that, you know, SMS, regular text messages, they're not encrypted on, they're not on unencrypted. The, you know, authorities can see them if they want to. Just a friendly reminder. Yep. They can do it anyway. So, <laughs> um, yeah. But th- this time it wasn't the authorities. This time it was a, it was a hacker. So it's interesting. But, um, yeah, pretty pretty bad. Um, somebody said yes. John Doe said yes. It didn't include text content, just metadata. Yep. Still pretty bad. Um, now, this is pretty cool. So um, with, with the release of the XMR signer software just around the corner, um, XMR Street just laid the foundation, started to lay the foundations for a model that anyone could use to manufacture using a 3D printer. So with no external dependencies, um, which is really uh, awesome. He said on July 8th, give me a little bit, a little more time and I'll add other models as I go along. So that's really exciting. That's really, really cool. Now let's talk about the German government's Bitcoin sell-off, which may have come to an end as a wallet emptied. Uh, quite a lot of Bitcoin, as far as I know, 50,000 Bitcoins worth um, at over 2 billion. And then they used a couple of cha- exchanges to uh, sell it off. Um, and they seized it in January from a film piracy website called Movie2K. Um, it just makes me feel like, what are they going to do with all that money? Because that's a lot of money that they, they seized. And um, and late, latest, they use Kraken to um, to sell 
over $223 million worth of Bitcoin. Um, so this one was interesting as well. But yeah, allegedly on Friday, the balance of the crypto wallet uh, has reached a balance of zero. So I guess they, they sold it all off. Um, mm, not so unconfiscatable. <laughs> although, although, although we're seeing, we, I think we have in the news as well, uh, Monero that was sold off by a government when, when you'll get there. Oh, here you go. Yep. Which is actually the next one. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so let's discuss this one actually. So this is the first UK case in which they actually, the police seized Monero and actually converted it to cash. It's not a lot, not 2 billion. It's more, more, um, I think, uh, $19,000 worth of Monero. <laughs> So essentially, this guy Finney, Jack Edward Finney, he uh, was a drug dealer. He was caught, and then he was forced to um, hand over twenty-three thousand pounds, which is like twenty-nine thousand dollars, nineteen thousand dollars worth of Monero. So he's kind of smart enough to use uh, Monero, and then he was also forced to to sell his Suzuki Vitara SUV. <laughs> um, yeah, so all his stuff had been sold and handed over to UK authorities and then took Monero. First time that they actually converted it to cash. And uh, also what's what's to say from this article is just the fact that they wrote a little bit about Monero. They said that Monero is a cryptocurrency known for its privacy features, unlike Bitcoin or Ethereum, or all of them really. <laughs> uh, Monero hides transaction details and user addresses. Uh, this makes it a popular choice for dark web transactions, but also creates challenges for law enforcement. Mm, so. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we've been saying on the show recently that there was rumor that a lot of governments um, are, you know, not selling Monero back onto the market if confiscated. Uh, and here we see that they they actually did sell it. So I don't know where that information was coming from. Uh, maybe just in, you know. Maybe maybe some governments are, are are deciding not to put it back on the market. I think it was even the UK where we had seen news that they they were looking to move towards a policy where they would where they wouldn't be putting the Monero back on the streets. So interesting that that's not that isn't what happened here. So also uh, to note, it, so the Monero wasn't hacked. It wasn't seized for hacking or working with exchanges. Um, Finney the um, the criminal um, did it himself. So he transferred them to investigators to do a confiscation order. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I guess it's the first of his case, which is... Um, you know they're keeping that Monero. They ain't getting rid of it. They're keeping it for their own use. <laughs> well, no, but, the it, <laughs> but it did say that they sold it, right? In this one they actually sold, I guess. This wink, case. wink. <laughs> wink, oh, wink. Like, yeah, exactly. So, Maybe I mean, you could... It, it was interesting because uh, you know we, we were hearing this policy that they weren't going to be putting it back on the streets, but by them doing it, they're giving it credibility, right? They're sanctioning it. They're saying Monero, Monero is it's it's legal. We're auctioning it off out to society. It was big when the U.S. government first did that, right back in the day. Mm -hmm. That was kind of a big moment. And and with Bitcoin, it's it's one of it's one of the ways uh, to make Bitcoin fungible again is when a, a government seizes it and then auctions it back back out into the population, erase essentially erasing its its history at that point because they're mm -hmm. remandating that it's that it's clean Bitcoin. Uh, with Monero, obviously that's not necessary. Yeah, so that's it. But I guess because. If they knew how much power, nineteen thousand dollars worth of power in Monero they had in their hands in that moment, it was kind of, it should have been one of those apes together strong moment. Like, wow, we have privacy with this thing. Maybe we should keep it, not give it away. <laughs> we could use this too. But yeah. <laughs> I guess they just I guess Wing Wing sold it. Mm. Um also this is uh, really, really good news for Monero. Um so <laughs> The percentage of criminal ultra shitcoin Monero and shadowy programmer, you know, many other titles that we gathered along the way. <laughs> uh, payments have mysteriously overtaken Bitcoin payments with many vendors this month. So um, usually we go over shopping bits and coin cards and their percentage of, of how many people bought um, gift cards with Monero versus Bitcoin. So if we take a look at see 
shop in bit, 74%. Bitcoin, 23%. Then we have coin cards, 34%. Bitcoin, 25%. Um, let's actually take a look. I don't want to take that, that's that's huge for shopping bit, by the Shop way. It's huge. Um, Lightning, almost nothing, and fiat. Mon Monero. I mean, and that just recently happened. Obviously, people were using Monero more and more there, but now it shot up to seventy, almost seventy-five percent. Um, three quarters of the, of all their transactions are Monero. I think they had even put out a tweet that they would be looking to change like their tagline as to not just being the Monero of uh, the Bitcoin marketplace but the bitcoin and monero um marketplace should. so that's uh you know the, the the market has spoken guys the market has spoken but it's pretty funny because i mean they, they probably should because their description says europe's biggest bitcoin store one million products and then you look at <laughs> you look at the stats and then monero is yeah. like, <laughs> that's staggering yeah right what was the previous they're from poland Stick. wow from the yeah. previous month do we is that um a good question easy Let's... to find on their page Let's go now over. obviously you know i think uh for for good reason um i think what helped them was they were at MoneroCon. they had some representatives there uh, MoneroCon was like a month ago so maybe uh a lot of people in the space became aware of them as uh, monero accepting uh marketplace hoping to have met monerotopia as well yeah in some form Wow. So when May it says it was Bitcoin sixty, so basically they've they've swapped places, and Monero's done even more than just swapping places with Bitcoin. And that's in like no time, which is crazy. <laughs> it's from thirty one percent to seventy four percent. That's. Uh, I mean, if if I was just like a, a BTC maxi, right, laser eyed, right, completely possessed, but this like news keeps coming across my 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 face. I mean, it has. They have to be like realizing that uh, Monero is organically eating into their use case, or taking o completely taking over the Bitcoin use case of being used for for digital cash purposes, and for them to not understand why that not like it's. I I don't see how you could be so blind to that. That's crazy, right? I guess so. Uh, when you like, at, like at, at what point? At what point does the laser-eyed Bitcoin Maxi say, "Okay, wait, there is something here"? Like when these exchange, like when these marketplaces are no, like no longer accepting Bitcoin. Like, at what point do they open their eyes to this? I like, uh, I don't know. What's the next level of cope? How do you, how are you going to be still coping and be like, "Oh, well, Monero is a shitcoin"? Because I think we have Giacomo on here at some point. We're talk like we'll be bringing his story up, like. I don't, I don't get how you can cope so hard when it's like so in your face. It's no longer hypothetical anymore. Monero is clearly eating into Bitcoin's use case and purpose as digital cash. And it's in many ways overcoming it, taking it over, taking over the network effect as the crypto to be used for peer to peer digital cash. I guess Incredible. it's a combination of uh, attachment to your own beliefs, bags and burn to your retina from all the laser eye <laughs> all the time <laughs> and then you just become literally blind <laughs> like we'll give you a chance guy come 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 over it's okay use monero it's okay well we, we know you, you made a mistake that that's fine you can still come come use it we we got it you called it a shit you could still even call it a shit coin but um just ex accept the fact that people rather use monero than bitcoin when they're sending transactions, super cheap to send, on chain, private all the time. It's just like, why, why, why not? It's just, uh, I guess, it's difficult for some people because they made such an image of themselves supporting Bitcoin. Yeah, and then they would, you know, if they turn one eighty, then you know, they're probably yeah, they're, they're, right they're, the their ego, team. their ego can't handle it. I think hundred percent. Plus, the I band. mean, it's like the, it's like the same as like the COVID thing, right? You had like the the people that that really went along with the scam, hook, line, and sinker, and they just even to this day they can't like they just can't admit that they were fooled. Uh, same concept. No, that was, that was such a bad time. I all the arguments over masks and oh my god, yeah. And when he had. Uh... <laughs> But hey, whatever. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we'll keep growing. Oh yeah, here we go. 
the Giacomo story. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm actually talking, talking about laser eyes. <laughs> yeah. So um, Volet.com Digital Wallet said, please know that there are no immediate refunds here. You can send dirty crypto and demand immediate return. As a regulated institution, we have to collect information, analyze it, and then make a decision. Now let's watch this uh, short video that many of us have seen before from the well, somebody, the paper vigilante said, laser eyes don't give a fuck because the only thing they want is a million dollar in his JP Morgan account. <laughs> true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. This all real quick. And in the worst case, you know, if, if everybody has to go to a central service to check if their Bitcoins are valid or if they are not, they have to sell them at a discount or that kind of thing. It's, this can eventually lead to a collapse and a loss of confidence and in the worst case <laughs> as well yeah wait go 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 ahead and play that play that again so yeah, yeah this is obviously guys this is adam back um you know a lot of people some people think he's satoshi this is i think in like 2013 yeah a long time uh where he's giving a presentation on bitcoin and talking about the you know basically at that time the one thing he's very concerned about which is admitting at that time bitcoin is not fungible and it's an issue and it's a major issue Go ahead, Ray. Put, put, go ahead. In the worst case, you know, if, if everybody has to go to a central service to check if their bitcoins are valid or if they are not, they have to sell them at a discount or that kind of thing. It's, this can eventually lead to a collapse and a loss of confidence. And that's a huge thing. <laughs> it's a huge thing. Like, uh, yeah, and you know, Satoshi, Adam Back, or maybe part of the Satoshi crew, or um, was aware of this very early on. Very early on that. Bitcoin's lack of fungibility will catch up with it, and it can it will there'll be a loss of confidence, right? People will no longer trust and be able to use it as a medium of exchange. If when they go to exchange it, it's questioned. When your Bitcoin is treated differently than anybody others, it's no longer functioning as money. When you take a hundred dollar bill out and you use that to pay somebody, he does not question you and ask you where it came from. He has no means of, of looking into where it came from, no means of treating it any differently than any other $100 bill. And you you need that to have a functioning money. Otherwise, uh, there's too much friction in the system. It's the, the medium of exchange needs to be able to flow completely fluidly without anybody being able to treat any any unit different than any other. It's kind of like, say, if you had um, a $1 bill and it was used by Trump or whatever, it wouldn't be a $1, like value the $1 would be much higher. Or say, you know, if Biden used it, then it will be much lower. <laughs> um, yeah, so fungibility is huge in a currency. If you want to have a currency that is used by everybody, it has to be fungible. Like, that's the biggest thing. Because if not, you're just going to run into a lot of issues. But... I guess it's one of those things when something is not a good product product over time, you know, it's going to collapse. Mm -hmm, People mm -hmm. are not going to use it, but it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Really curious where Bitcoin is going to be in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. or by so, yeah. uh, untraceable posted this because it was in response to the, the tweet that's under it that he uh, was quoting there. I don't know if you have that as the next story. Yeah, go ahead and uh... yeah, no, let's go. Okay, wait, 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 click, click on that tweet, yeah, and then all scroll right. all the scroll all the way up. So, oh, are you blocked? Am I blocked? Uh, wait, who blocked, blocked me? By Giacomo. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome! Really? <laughs> so you can't pull up his tweet? Oh my god! Or it's possible oh, that he's maybe withdrawn from the thread or limits. Who can? No, see. no, I, I just looked it up because I was just. I, I hadn't had the moment to read it yet. I was like, let me actually read what happened. Mm. Um, yeah, no, like, it's up there. Looks like can, can so you basically. See uh, yeah, we don't we don't see it. We can't see it. You're block. You're blocked. I think. Oh, so I'm blocked. Interesting. No, I, I think I'm talking to this guy. They probably withdrew because you can like do some things like you can hide your your posts from somebody. But else. I'm looking I'm looking at it right now though. Okay, can you bring it up, Tux? Oh, that is weird. Uh, let me see. What's uh? I mean, this is just you who, know who, what uh, I'm... one who posted the top one that you can't see posted that. Um, uh, Giacomo. Yeah. Oh. So at G uh, G I A C O M O. Giacomo Zuko. 
Or I can bring it. Let me see if I can bring it up. I've never even talked to this guy. Yeah, send me the link if you have it. I think it's just posting about Monero who did it. Because I don't have the link. Oh, I see it. There it is. Let's see. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I see it. That is very. Oh, huh, yeah, man. I guess you you got blocked. That's weird. He block he blocks people all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony well, I can like see it. So res let's take a look before comment. I get blocked too. Yeah. He's had he had me blocked for a while, but then I got him on the show that time, and he unblocked me. Oh yeah, yeah. I am blocked. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> wow. Confirmed. Tony's been blocked. <laughs> You've been stopped. Shit's gonna. Shit's gonna. All right. Here, uh, do Jack you wanna? Up. Here, I'll share my screen real quick, just so you can read this off. Yep. Yep. Yeah. See if you could uh, read that. Alert at Volatcom seems to be stealing user funds. Details, while I dislike and generally avoid KYC off-ramps, preferring P2P exchange whenever it's feasible, for reasons of convenience, I did use this one on a few occasions. The first few transactions to fund a USD MagicCard went fine, but a few weeks ago, their support desk refused to credit a couple thousand USD worth of Bitcoin deposit, and they are currently refusing to give me back my money either. The condition they require or to return the loot is an impossible chain anal <laughs> challenge, giving them on-chain proof of origin of any single output involved in the TX graph of my funding transaction. My suspicion is that the task is intentionally designed to be impossible to comply with in order to rug pull users. I'll keep you updated in the coming weeks. Monero fixes this. Privacy at the base later. Layer, yes, sir. Idiotic nonsense. <laughs> Don't promote well, the things here, sir. There's there's uh, multiple things to be said there, right? So like, looks like he got like flagged, right? Because he had suspicious Bitcoin, right? That, because of the history of the Bitcoin he sent. Um, but you know, if they're blanket just asking everybody to do proof of funds, then obviously Monero is susceptible to that to, as well, right? If they're saying, yeah, if they have really weird, yeah. if they're if they're intentionally trying to make it impossible to comply, then you know, that's, right, right, right. That's if if it's that they're, they're flagging him because. They did trace his Bitcoin and they see it's suspicious and that's why he's ha having to go through these extra steps. Then, yeah, um, that that's the freaking problem there. Uh, it's not fungible and it's allowing exchanges to treat some Bitcoin differently than others. Um, but, yeah, if they're blanket asking everybody for proof of funds, which I don't think is the case, right? They're obviously uh, that's what Giacomo was trying to hint at. But that's I don't think that's the case. I don't think they're blanket asking everybody for proof of funds. Yeah, it's, it's more just, likely his BTC it, is uh, he's got some bad right. boy BTC. That his he BTC was flagged. Yeah. Otherwise, the service wouldn't function at all if they were just asking everybody for proof of funds. Exactly. So, right. What else? What else we got? But yeah, that was just, you know, like I was trying to before, like, yeah, I just don't understand the cope. Right. Like somebody commented Monero fixes this and like his response is like, no, you're a shit coiner. <laughs> yeah, so whatever. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Okay. Uh, this next one is really important, too. So uh, unstoppable swap, secure, private, trustless and easy to use like some to Bitcoin atomic swaps. Hell yeah, we have submitted a CCS funding proposal. So for the next six months, they are going to... Um, so the project uh, mostly consists of four parts, a command line utility, a command line interface, a graphical user interface, and a command line utility for hosting a uh, rendezvous point in the decentralized discovery network. Um, essentially, uh, binary baron and Einliter Flasche are two Monero enthusiasts from Berlin and both computer science students. Uh, they've been excited about XMR to Bitcoin atomic swaps since the commit team started development of their prototype. Uh, Binary uh, Baron has contributed to the project since its early stages, while Einliter Flasche joined later on. Um, so they've been working on this for quite some time, for the past two years. And they've done quite a um, quite a bit of work on uh, XMR2 uh, Bitcoin atomic swaps. Um, yeah, so guys, make sure that you um, you go and support, uh, you know, feedback and um, everything, because this is really, really important. Um, we need this 
many off ramps as possible. And um, yeah. So this one is interesting. Then we have, yeah, so we have done, we have two more and that's it. Um, okay, so this one is from chapter three, build the greatest econo economy in history. And under number five, champion innovation, they wrote um, the Republican part, the National Committee uh, wrote uh, crypto. Republicans. Yeah, this this up. is uh, this is about basically the Na National Republican Party putting out the their new platform, right? They're adopting mm -hmm. or updating their platform. It's basically this is Trump's platform, and it's uh, because Trump is obviously the the front runner and the and the and the favored and the presidential candidate. It is the the default default platform of the entire National Republican Party, and. Um, I can't see it. Read it from here, but there's there's some interesting things on it. Tony, I don't know if you could see it. Obviously, the crypto yes. one is is the most poignant. If you mm -hmm. want to go ahead and read that, this is what they're saying. The Repu National Republican Party is saying their their stance and platform is with regards to crypto. Go ahead. Yes, and some people said in the comments that yeah, it may not happen. They're saying all this stuff, but I mean, can you can you read what it what it said though fully for the crypto one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Republicans will end Democrats unlawful and on an un American crypto crackdown and oppose the creation of a central bank digital currency. That's huge. We will defend the right to mine Bitcoin and ensure every American has the right to self custody of their digital assets and transact free from government surveillance and control. Um, so yeah. the, you know, the point is and transact free from surveillance and, and government control. So, um in, in my mind that's 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 a very much a pro monero statement right so they're saying it in terms of bitcoin but effectively bitcoin doesn't allow you to do that <laughs> transact free from from surveillance and and government control so if they want to actually support that concept and uh support society having a tool that allows for the ability of people to transact without censorship and government control um and do it privately right these are all ideas they're saying they now support that that is Supposedly. yeah Supposedly. or they just want to yeah, keep up yeah, the grift right. that bitcoin is you know free from government control the, the government and that they want people to use it they want to promote it but also I mean, I don't think there's anything too like crazy to look at in this regard. It's just Trump wants the crypto bro votes, okay? Yeah, he wants yeah, the crypto course. bro votes, so he's gonna say whatever makes them happy. Um, and right. Yeah, now, I mean, I, 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 I don't understand the argument though of ignoring that. Like, there's people who are like, like, yes, we all know, like, so, like, it's the most obvious point. We all know that politicians are phony. Like people are like, but no, he's a pop. Like we know it. Like Biden's like Biden isn't even the president. There's other people that are running running this country right now. He's literally reading a freaking script that he's given. But the point is, the, these scripts are given for a reason, right? They want the crypto bro vote because the crypto bros have influence in the sphere. So it's showing that they they're catering to that community and they're doing it by saying, hey, you know, the we putting a carrot out there. We're gonna do this for you. Um, just, just come vote for me. Now, will they follow? Will he follow through and voted in? I don't know. Maybe just to some lesser extent, like we were just saying with Malay. But it's like you have the choice between A or B, and A is at least saying if elected, I, I, I may do this is probably better than than B, right? Are they either are capable of screwing you over, but not participating at all? It just doesn't even really exist as an option because even if you're trying to not participate, you still are. You're still you're still living in this country and being influenced by their politics and by the power structure. Uh, just completely ignoring it in my mind. I'm not there yet to how that achieves anything, right? So like I'm all about using Monero and having that be my my cypherpunk approach. There's nothing more crypto anarchist than that, focusing on that. But then also not ignoring the fact that these power structures exist and there is a way to interface with them and influence them, even though they're trying to ultimately just gain power for themselves. 
The language in that um, little part is interesting, though, and I hope that does actually relate to, like, they're not just trying to use that to purely protect Bitcoin and create this kind of, kind of portray the false consensus that a lot of people have that Bitcoin's, you know, like, free of government controls but that you know that 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 language would actually protect privacy coins but we'll we'll see we'll see what happens i i honestly don't think i don't think trump like or like his admin would really care to even like put a stop to any kind of crypto stuff like he didn't care about it that much before but he never seemed that like he was really against it he just cares about the u.s dollar and like the u.s dollars performance mostly but whatever Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting to see. I mean, it's, oh, it's a then, much it's a much better policy than than the Democrats' policy, right? The Elizabeth Warren. Oh, oh, it's policy, still a great right? improvement. I, mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, I guess at this point, I'm just pretty narcissistic and or not narcissistic, but uh, black pilled on pessimistic, pessimistic yeah. and black pilled on federal uh, government to federal elections. But I will say this is funny. Recently, um, and you can pull this up if you want to. Uh, so Trump was announced to be speaking at the bitcoin nashville conference oh, yeah. which uh, i think says a lot more about him than about bitcoin itself uh but of course he's like the headliner like the main headliner now yeah and then also uh edward snowden who we tried to get to co- to speak at Venero topia remotely and we were going to pay him thousands of dollars <laughs> uh didn't want didn't want to participate in that but he'll he'll speak at the bitcoin conference yeah um, of- you know, of course to get paid to say and they're probably himself. paying him a lot more to be fair <laughs> 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 to uh give g- generic vague yeah. uh, suggestions about <laughs> privacy him. and the base layer yeah, and yeah. whatever you know yeah he's a, he's a great speaker he, he really is he's great at uh explaining the importance of privacy and explaining you know uh the importance of the these f- concepts of free speech and whatnot and fighting against totalitarianism but he just for some reason uh really comes across as phony when he doesn't refuses to mention the m-word although i think i he i think i have heard he has mentioned it recently so mm-hmm. maybe i shouldn't be so hard on him Okay. Um, that's it, really. The last thing that I wanted to mention is um, to support Copa Monero, um, just to improve the stadium, increase the XMR prize, and uh, it's just it's just an amazing uh, crypto event. So um, make sure that you support and um, you donate. And um, other than that, that's it for the news section for this week. All right, man. Thank you so much, Tony. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Thank good you. Good job. Good job. Thanks as always, Tony. Glad to have you on. Thank you, guys. Good to see you. Good to hear you too. I'm okay. just bringing. I'm bringing up this. Uh, yeah, the Nash. Yeah. So you got Donald Trump. You got RFK Jr. So yeah, they're they're all going to to cater to the Bitcoin community. Michael Saylor, Kathy Wood. I mean, it's kind of funny, right? So like, when you look at this, it is. It is. Kinda, <laughs> it's like a who's uh, who of government people yeah like, it's government got, like, yeah, bankers right. you know it's big the, money investors like michael right. sailor it's like it's like literally showing you the people that are looking to coordinate behind the scenes to co-op like, we got this? donald trump working with with michael sailor and we're gonna and kathy wood to see if we could co-op the monero community rfk jumping in there um yeah and i'm on there so somewhere all the way at the bottom oh yeah yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Did did we mention that already? Um, that's important. Get the word out on that. Uh, You're yeah. Sp- just for silent payments, doing a demo that, there. That's super cool, man. Super cool. Have to be um, careful though. This is like a no Monero zone. No, that's great. I, I oh, love yeah. I, I love going into the non Monero adversarial zone, territory. So, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll try to swing by. I don't know. It's always hey, fun. Yeah. You know, get get you the should, Monero mic should. out. I mean, if I could grab Snowden. Oh no, wait. He's not going to be there. He's not. What no, am I saying? No. He's not going to be there. He's, remote, he's yeah. in Russia remotely. Yep. Um, but yeah, RFK. I still never get RFK or, or Trump. I, I doubt I'd be able to get anywhere near Trump. Um, but RFK, maybe I could. I can get near. Yeah, huh? Who else is going? Is 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 Cake doing anything there? Is or no? There. Oh, we sponsored 
um we're just going to i don't even know if we're going to do a booth or a table or not uh we're just okay. presenting i'm presenting silent payments with um one of our devs Raphael. uh that okay. is mostly it very cool yeah obviously that's it'd be good to focus on silent payments for the monero i mean a uh, bitcoin audience yep very cool it is privacy related which is nice yeah and it, br it brings them into the tent right uh brings them into the tent and then as they're using cake right and using silent payments um they start to wonder why don't i just use something that's private by default all the time it's right here just another button start using monero <laughs> yeah i mean that's kind of like that's kind of what, you know vic's part he's like he's very much a part of like multiple crypto communities but he knows that you know bringing people into the cake ecosystem it's like okay well bit monero is like the top coin when you go to create a wallet so Anyone right. starts using Cake Wallet for Bitcoin or other coins, it's like, well, it exposes them to Monero when very, there's not a lot of wallets that support Monero, right? Most of the mainstream big wallets are like Bitcoin, Ethereum stuff. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 